impression. But I did come to exalt his holy name. Amen. He's worth praising. Amen. Amen. Some of you in the room probably think I'm worried about the numbers in this room tonight. I'm not. There was a time in my career when I was. I'm way beyond that. This year, April 12th, 1994, marks 30 years that I got saved. take you to that spot. I should have got saved on Monday night. I felt that pull on Monday night. But I waited to Tuesday. And it didn't take long when that, in, uh, that invitation came and started and I was there. I wish I could tell you tonight that through all of those 30 years that uh, I read God's word like I know I should have read it. I wish I could tell you that uh, I prayed like I know I should have. I even wish I could tell you that I served God like I know I should have served him in those 30 years. But if I'm being honest and transparent with you tonight, I will tell you this. I have felt him more than I've served him. But I sure am thankful for his mercy and grace. Amen. Yeah. I sure am thankful for 1 John 1 9. It says if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Aren't you thankful for that tonight? Amen. Now, before I got married, uh, I told my wife, I said, uh, I know that God has called me to sing. And I knew that at a very young age. I knew what I wanted to do at five years old. I didn't want to be a doctor. I didn't want to be a lawyer. I didn't want to be a teacher. All I ever wanted to do was jump on a bus and sing gospel music. And that is it. And God has been good to me. He's been faithful. I told my wife, I said, um, there might come a time when God will allow me to sing full time and I might be gone a lot. I married a very independent girl. I'm very thankful for her. She, never, she knew my call and never stood in my way. And I'm thankful for that. But she did say this. She said, now before you jump on a bus and start singing gospel music, I want to be a mother. And I quickly found out she wanted to be a mother twice as bad as I wanted to be a singer. Everything was fine until a doctor at UAB Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama introduced us to the word infertility. And I tell you, that's the hardest stretch in our marriage today. I remember many, many nights looking over just watching her sit cry steps. Everybody in our family were expecting. It seemed like all of our friends were expecting. The hardest place to be. I'm asking God, why? Why are you putting us through this? Six months turned to a year, and a year turned to two years, and two years turned to three long years. How many know that the God we serve don't answer our prayers like this? I had to learn that. I had to learn it the hard way. Now I am thankful to tell you that on June the 10th, 2015, the prettiest redheaded girl I've ever seen came into this world. She changed her mother and life life forever. God showed me a lot of things then. Now, about 10 months after she was born, I got a call that uh, Gold City was looking for a lead singer. And Gold City wasn't just any group out traveling on the bus singing gospel music. Gold City was my favorite group out traveling on the bus singing gospel music. And this is what I learned. He 
has an impeccable plan for my life. He's got an impeccable plan for your life. Yes, he does. I'm reminded of the story in the Bible. I know you've preached this many times, and I know they've heard it all your life. Jesus was with the disciples at the Sea of Galilee. He tells the disciples this, get in the boat, and I'll meet you on the other side. But there was one thing that Jesus didn't tell the disciples. And that's that the storm was coming. And I'm going to tell you tonight why I think Jesus didn't tell the disciples that. Because he knew those disciples were just like you and I. Because if we would have known that the storm was coming, we'd have never gotten the boat. There's a lot of hurting people in this room tonight. And I want you to listen to me. Whatever you're going through, the same promise that Jesus gave those disciples goes for you as well. Whatever you're going through, he's going to meet you on the other side. I don't care what it is. But I will tell you this. No matter the high times of life or the low times of life, there's only one constant thing. He's the same thing. Church on the corner, my hometown, a lot of roses and grass, like rain falling down, a ready touch, and a high dress, and a white Cadillac at the bottom of the stairs, just down the street. of carnations and the long black girls family and friends tears in their eyes it's never easy saying goodbye and I realized in two blocks time you're the same